Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be recreating the look I did on my birthday, which was a few days ago. Thank you for all those sweet messages that you guys sent over. So I had a lot of requests about my makeup, so I figured I'll show you guys how I did the look and also my hair care routine. I did team up with L'Oreal Paris here. In today's video, it's one of the questions that I get asked the most on this channel. So I figured I'll show you, actually bring you with me in the shower and show you how I take care of my hair, how I keep it shiny and soft and just looking good in general. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So with that being said, enough rambling. Let's get started with the video. So today I'll be using the L'Oreal Paris L5 Total Repair line. To get started, I'm going to use the Total Repair 5 Repairing Shampoo. This line is perfect for me since I recently went back to dark hair. You guys know I missed it so much, but my ends have been a bit dry. I feel like this has been helping a lot. All of the products that I'll be showing you today are targeted for damaged hair. Now we're going in with the Total Repair 5 Repairing Conditioner. All you need is a small amount. I like to start off at the tips of my hair and work it up to my roots. This leaves my hair so soft every time I use it. And you guys always ask me, how is my hair always shiny and soft? Literally, this has been a lifesaver. After I've rinsed out the conditioner, I'm going to use a Total Repair 5 Damage Erase Balm. You might remember this product from my favorites video. This is one of those products that I've been using for years and years, and I still swear by it. It's honestly so amazing. After only one use, it can repair up to one year of damage. So if you've been looking for something to help with your dyed hair or your, you know, you've been using a lot of heat in your hair, this is perfect for you. So I like to leave this in for five minutes, usually while I'm shaving or exfoliated then I'll rinse it off and finally this last step I usually use once every three weeks but you can use it as much as you want after every wash this is the total repair 5 protein or recharge treatment it helps my hair feel softer and appear shinier after every use you'll see it once my hair is air dry it also helps cut down the time I spend with heat on my hair I hope you guys enjoyed my hair care routine in the shower. I had so much fun filming that footage. So this is what my hair looks like after I blow dried it. This is literally only using the shampoo and conditioner and the protein recharge leave-in. So look how soft and shiny my hair is. The cool thing about the protein recharge is that it's hydrating and it also works as a heat protector. So once I'm done in the shower, I am ready to add heat to my hair. So that's what I did. I basically just blow dried it, no straightener at all. All of the L'Oreal products that I use will be linked in the description box below. If I missed anything, you guys can comment in the comments below and I'll answer your question. So we can move on to the makeup now. For my birthday, I did a super glam makeup look. I'm going to be recreating it today with some new products, some favorites. Make sure I have my hair away from my face. We're ready to put on some makeup. So I already went in with my skincare routine. So I'm gonna go in and prime my face. I'm using my Cover FX Metafine Primer Acne Treatment. And I'm only going to focus this on the center of my face. I've been using this one right here, the Cover FX Blurring Primer, and I absolutely love it. For foundation today, I'm using my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. I actually switched out my shade to a neutral undertone just because I feel like the warm one was too yellow on me, especially because my tan is already faded. So I needed something to match with the rest of my body. This one is in the shade three and one buff. And like I said, it has a neutral undertone, so it looks perfect with the rest of my body. I'm gonna go in and apply a few pumps on the back of my hand and just take my beauty blender and work this on my skin. So for my birthday this year, I told my husband that all I wanted to do was eat Italian food at this one restaurant that I absolutely love here in LA. So that's exactly what we did. We went down to Brentwood and we had literally like all the food in the menu. It was amazing. We actually vlogged it. So if you want to see it, I will link it in the description box below. I was up for the rest of the night just eating mini cupcakes, watching The Office, and literally just like cuddling with Mac, and it was the best day ever. So I had a lot of fun. I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in 235. And I'm just going to apply this under my eyes and blend that in with that same sponge. That Let's go in and do these brows because they are looking crazy. The process of growing them out is the most difficult thing, but I'm pretty sure 
once it's done and over and I'm able to like shape them, the feeling will be so rewarding. So what I've been doing is I basically just play around with the shape every day. Like every time I'm doing my brows, I'm like, okay, what am I doing today? So I actually like the fact that I can do something different every day, but it does take me a little bit longer to fill them in. Today to fill in my brows, I'm going in with this eyebrow pencil by e.l.f. Cosmetics. And I believe this, in, this is in the darkest shade, dark brown black. I will link it in the description box below, but I really like it. It has a really nice thick consistency, which is great. It lasts longer on your brows. So what I like to do is I like to start off at the bottom of my brows. I basically like to outline them and then I'll slowly fill in the front and the tail of my brows. I'm going to go in and clean up my brows. I'm using a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this Sigma E68 brush, which is actually a lip brush, but you know what? We're going to use it for my brows because it's super precise and I just want to clean off the bottom of my brows. The top, I like it to look a little fuzzy, so we're going to leave it just like that. Do you see the difference though? Like it completely transformed my brows and they look a lot better. But last thing I'm gonna do is take a mini sponge. This is by Fenty Beauty and I'm gonna dip it into my translucent powder and I'm going to set my concealer so that it doesn't move. I'm taking a blending brush and I'm just gonna dust it off and we're pretty much done with the brows. Love, I really love this packaging. This is the Too Faced Pretty Rich Eyeshadow Palette and I used it for the first time on my birthday and I was like, oh my God, this is gorgeous. So when you open it, you have all these stunning shades. These shimmery metallic shades are everything. I'm gonna be using them today on my eyes. I'm taking my Sigma E40 brush and the shade It's Cashmere and I'm going to work this on the outer parts of my crease. I'm taking that same brush and I'm dipping it into, oh, that's rich, cute name. And I'm going to apply this only on the outer parts of my eyelids. That shadow blended so nice on the outer lid. I'm going to go in with a flat brush and I'm going to take the shade It's Designer and I'm going to pack this on the inner parts of my eyelids. Woo, that was literally one dip. Holy pigmented, this is nice. Going back in with that same brush, I don't have any product on the brush and I'm just gonna clean off the excess that went on the dark brown. Ooh, that is pretty. This is my favorite part, the glitter. I'm going in with Fluent in Diamonds, which is this gorgeous gold shade. And I'm going to pack this on the inner parts of my eyelids. Wow. Every time I put this on, I'm just like, oh, so beautiful. We're going in with the Benefit Roller Liner. And I'm just going to do a very thin line right above my lashes. Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to set only the front of my under eye and that way when I dust it off the powder will literally just go under my eyes and it won't interrupt the highlighter or the bronzer or anything like that. I just got my Kylie Cosmetics order in the mail. I bought bronzers and blushes from her new collection. So today I'm going to be using the Kylie Oppress bronzing powder in the shade Almond and this is what it looks like right here. I actually really like her powder formula. So that's why I wanted to place an order on her website. And also the packaging is so sick and cute. Like I just, I can't pass. I'm a sucker for packaging. I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush. And I'm going to start defining the hollows of my cheekbones. A little bit on the sides of my forehead and on my jawline. First impression on these powders, they are blending really nice on the skin, very pigmented and little to no fallout. So, so far looking good on the skin and this is my perfect shade in almond. I also got it in the shade Toasty and I'm gonna use this shade to contour my nose because it's a little bit lighter and cooler. So it's gonna be, oh yeah, this is 
this is the perfect shade to contour nose. So for my birthday, I wanted a pop of color. So I love doing a dramatic, bold, under the lower lashes pop of color. I'm going in with the set. Mm, I'm going in with Set the Jewel Tone, which is this gorgeous royal blue. And it has a ton of glitter. And I'm just using a flat shader brush to pat this under my lower lashes. And then finally on my waterline, I'm going in with this Smashbox Always On Gel Eyeliner. And this is in the shade Black. And I'm just going to pop this on my waterline. On my bottom lashes, I'm going in with my favorite. This is the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mini Brush Mascara. Absolutely amazing for the bottom lashes. Or if you wear falsies a lot, this is really nice to blend the falsies and your lashes together. I also got this blush from the Kylie website and I am obsessed. Like this color is stunning. I love peach colors, especially for my cheeks. I just feel like they look really flattering on medium to tan skin tones. So I'm going in with just a little bit. As you can tell, it is very pigmented. So I'm going to dust it off and apply this to the apples of my cheeks. Lips. We're gonna keep the lips neutral today because we have a lot going on on the eyes. So for lip liner today, I'm going in with a strip down by MAC and I'm just gonna go ahead and outline my lips. And then for lipstick today, I'm going in with this new L'Oreal liquid lipstick in number one and power. And we're pretty much done. Today I'm in the mood for a gloss. So we're gonna go in with one of my new favorites. This is the Too Faced Jordan Woods uh, Lip Gloss in Social Butterfly. It is such a gorgeous gloss. And it goes perfect alone or even on top of any lipstick you might have on. I'm skipping the highlighter on my face, but I wanna put some on my nose. Just because when you take pictures, like it shows up really nice. We're pretty much done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun on my birthday. Literally, like I said, it was the best day ever. If you guys want to see a vlog of that day, I will link it here so you can go check it out. Thank you again to L'Oreal for teaming up with me on this video. I had so much fun filming it and I truly love their products. So I hope you guys can check them out as well. If you haven't already, because I've talked about them so much here on my channel channel. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you all in the next one very soon. Bye.